code word. Purple. What is? Buddy, I don't want for your brother to know. So I just need you to do this because you said your brother is greedy. Hello. Hello. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. It's David. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? No, I'm fine. Is this code word? Purple. All right. Okay. All right. Did you get the cards? Uh. Well, so I was call trying to call you about that. Um, we we're trying to get the uh the numbers, the numbers of. Oh my gosh, it was like the code numbers or something. Like, uh, shoot. This is Bear, correct? Well, huh? This is Mr. Knuckles? Yeah. Where is your brother? Oh, uh, well, he's laying down right now. Is this Baron? No, it's Harry. Oh, it's Harry. Did you get the cards, the vanilla cards? Uh, we were supposed to get the vanilla cards. Uh, right now, uh, we're, we're going, but we haven't got the opportunity to do, like, well, I'm, like, I'm going, so, I'll be back in here in a little bit, but, uh, the knuckles here, you know, he'll, he'll be able to talk to you through it, but I got, I gotta go pick him up. Yeah, go pick some... up the cards and let me talk to, to Mr. Knuckles. All right, perfect. Hello. Hello, buddy. How are you doing? Oh, I'm not doing good. Um, I drank really too much, much, better? much. I drank too much last night. Um, I shouldn't have uh, let them talk me into drinking, but they did. I mean, I gotta live it up because I don't really. I don't know if my brother told you, but I don't have a whole lot of time left. We were kind of. Uh, I was thinking of uh, sending him into town with some, with some cash. Did, did he leave us yet? No, he hasn't left yet. Let me ask you, buddy. Um, what I want to ask you, what do you mean you don't have long left? Oh well, I'm, I'm, that's the reason I've been going to the doctor. I've got cancer, and um, they're trying to treat it, but it's not really doing a whole lot. It's too far. How much days they told too you? Too far you advanced. How, uh, much, how, how long do you have left? I might have three months. They said. Oh, you have a long time, buddy. You, you never know what might happen. Maybe miracles happen and you get well. Yeah, it's. Uh, I don't think it's the case here, but um, I like your attitude anyways. I'm going to uh, give my brother cash to go pick those vanilla cards up. When, I, when, when, are, when is your brother going home? Um, well, he's staying down here for a little while because of uh, um, my health, and uh, he's going to help me out a little bit. I'm going to, I'm going to send him after the cards, and uh, I'm just going to give him cash because if I use my debit card, um, my family gets notified if I make a purchase of a certain amount, and if I do the cash, and they won't really know about it. All right, this is what you're going to do then, bud. Give him the cash, and I'll stay on the phone with you while he goes out, all right? Oh, it, it takes over an hour to go there and back to the to town to I get know, the cards. I know, we'll, we'll chat a little. We'll chat a bit. Okay, now, I don't mind chatting a little while, but I don't think I can stay awake for very long. I'm still I'm kind of under some medications why I've got you talking to him, because I might talk some complete nonsense to you. Let's see. All right. Um, also, we were... Give him the cash. Was, Give him the cash. Yeah, he's Give got it. Give him the cash. He's already got the cash. I've already kind of... We were waiting for you to call back to for him to leave because... Uh, I went... I tried I went to, to call a couple wash, of times. You went to the car wash? Yes, buddy. Oh, did you get your car washed up good? Yeah, I got my car washed, buddy. Oh, uh, that's good. Um, I was going to ask, uh, I was thinking about leaving this money to a uh, charity. I don't know if he talked to you about the, the, uh, yeah, he, the guy. He talked he's to a, me about it. Yeah. He's an Elvis, he's an Elvis Presley impersonator, basically that goes to the St. Jude's hospital and he performs songs for the 
for the children. Did you, you tell know. your Did you tell your brother about this? Oh, my brother knows a little bit about it. He's the only one I've told. I hadn't said anything to the rest of the family. But did you tell him to keep his business, to keep it private? Oh yeah, yeah. He's not gonna say anything. I told him I might be cut him in on a little bit of that cash. He's a greedy little. He's kind of a greedy little bastard, anyways. I mean, no, I don't mean that in a bad way, but, you know, if he gets a chance to take get some money, he, he's not going to pass it up. But two and a half million dollars, I think I can spare a little bit to keep mm-hmm. his mouth, keep his mouth shut. Um, I'll go, I'll go ahead and, uh, is there anything you need to tell him about the cards just to make sure that he doesn't make any mistakes when he goes down there. Tell him he's supposed to get two vanilla cards. Maybe one store won't sell him two at once. So maybe he's going to have to go to two different stores, but maybe he'll get it at, at that store. They're called vanilla Visa hey, gift cards. Hold on just a second, David. Let, I'm going to let you say that to him because I, I will screw it up. Here he is. They're called, they're called vanilla Visa gift cards. Vanilla Visa gift cards. Gotcha. And if there's no vanilla, if there's no vanilla Visa gift cards, you get American Express gift cards. Okay. Do, do they and look listen, like ice cream? Like, do they have ice cream on them? Vanilla. It, it, no, it's it's the color vanilla. Just go to the gift uh, card section. Any okay. store you go to, you go to the gift card section. You look for. The vanilla Visa gift card, if there's no vanilla Visa gift card, you get the American Express gift card. Okay. Maybe maybe one store won't sell you two at once, so maybe you're going to have to get one at this store and then go to another store and get one. But gotcha. you check around, you go to various stores, and you try and get both of them, and then you come back home. Maybe it's going to cost you a little extra than a 1000 Maybe... $1,050 or so. So you just put the remaining of funds on it. When you're back home, your brother will give you the amount you put on it, all right? Oh, okay. Did you have a good Christmas? Do you need to... I beg your pardon? Did you have a good Christmas? Yes, I did. Did you? Oh, wonderful. Well, you know, I wish you a happy New Year's, you know, and uh, you can't, too. can't you wait too, for this. Buddy. Can't Looking wait for this forward to meeting you guys. Just keep your brother's business private. Because yeah. you don't want for anyone to know he has one to come stalk him around and stuff like that. Gotcha. There, well, so you there was... Go, go, go now. Let me talk to your brother. Okay. Uh, but real quick, there were some other people calling us, though. Like, I don't know. It was, it was some asking about uh, some cards or whatever. No, no. Don't talk to those persons, all right? All right. Keep me on the line. I won't hang up. Just go. Okay. Hey, I'm giving you knuckles. Don't call me knuckles. Hey, I'm back. Hey, buddy, who called you? Oh, it was just a, someone left me a message. It's just somebody wanting to try to, uh, I don't know what they wanted. You told me not to call, answer the phone. So if it wasn't your number, I didn't call back. Good. Very good, because you know those guys, I don't want for anyone to try and rip you off. Or pull your leg. Right, that's what I'm just gonna. I'll just let it go to voicemail, and they can talk to my lawyer after I die if they want to try to get to my. Well, I'm going to uh, get him headed out of here, and I really kind of like to just get some rest, if that's okay with you, David. No, I I need. I just wanted to talk to you a bit more. Okay, well, go ahead then. Is there gonna be? A, right, no. Is it gonna be okay for? If I have this money, give it to a charity. No, it's not a problem. Just listen to what I'm saying now, buddy. Uh, after you, he's gotten, after he has gotten those two cards, what's going to happen is uh, those two cards is to have the paperwork signed. So after we've provided them with the cards and we have them signed and we receive the signatures on Monday, uh-huh. then we're going to have you insure package. Meaning when you insure this package, it will go directly where you want it to go and how you directly want it to go, to happen. So you have to insure your package with the FDIC. What the FDIC offers, they offers you 10% in advance 
and a fully reimbursement of the money you have sent out. That's the best insurance company I could have found for you, all right? Yeah, okay. Just look, you said you wanted to give um, charity and stuff, so we have to have this insured so everything goes according to plan, all right? Okay. Once it's insured, no one, I mean no one, can try and steal this money from you or your family members, all right? Yeah. Don't it, won't it be sent to the bank? Yeah, no, we will make a delivery to your home. Oh, y'all going to deliver insurance, in person? I don't know what the insurance value is yet. Okay. I don't know how much is it, it is to insure this package as yet because I haven't gotten to that stage as yet. We're just working on having all your papers signed up and stuff, all right? Right. I asked him uh, earlier to ask you about um, if there was any way I could just wire money or if I could just send cash because I, I have, uh, you know, I have uh, probably close to 30, 40,000 in cash here that if uh, it'd be easier for me not to get the bank involved I could just uh, oh so you don't it. you don't want to you don't want to wire any money correct uh well I I could wire the money I just uh if I do that I have to go to the bank and I have to talk to them about it and I'm a hard time getting around right now and I'd rather them not be involved at all if possible yeah yeah I I understand but I understand all right they're gonna I'll, wanna, I'll they're gonna want to tax me and stuff if I if I go to them and I don't want I don't want to give Uncle Sam any more money. I know. Don't worry. I'll find a way. If you're if if it's even to have someone come by and pick it up. All right. Right. Yeah. Well. Yeah. That would be all right too. If if that would be easier than, than mailing it. Yeah, because you know if you mail some stuff, sometimes. When they find these stuff in, when they find cash in the mail, they steal it. Yeah, I figured a small amount, like a thousand dollars. I didn't think that would be a big deal. I could like wrap it up and put it in a book or something and hide it. But yeah, if you think you could get someone to come by and pick it up, that would be easier. All right, buddy. What I need you to do, just hold the line a bit. All right. All right. And what I wanted to ask you. You said you had a business account. You have investments. Well, yeah, I have the, I have a, It's not so much investments anymore. It's just the money I made when I had the business. I'm kind of retired now, at least on what the books. What type of business you had? A construction company. Yeah, I was in construction. How do you and, uh, how do you know everything about me? You got mine uh, files over there. <laughs> Nobody. Remember, you told me you did construction. Oh, so okay. since you're saying, since you're saying a business accountant, I'm guessing it's construction. Yeah, it was from. Uh, it was my profits from construction company, but now it's. I really need to close it out and just put it into a, a single account. But I keep it in a business account because I can. And how much you would you, you say you think you have inside of this business account? Uh, well, it's, uh, I think it's 120,000 maybe. I haven't, oh. checked, I haven't checked it in a while. I've been basically keeping my money to myself and bringing it home in the last few years because if I, how long it, is it, is it your, I heard family members in the background. How long are those persons going to stay? Uh, they're going to be gone here in a few, probably 30 minutes, but uh, my brother Harry's going to stay for a, uh, he's so probably going to stay tonight. Go to the bank, is it, if you go to the bank, will it be a problem for you to, uh, like, wire money or um, what about it, certified well, issues? Just, just the thousand dollars is, it's not a big deal. Um, but what did what you, about, did what you about, say the other what, amount was? And you have a checkbook? You don't have a checkbook, right? No, I don't write checks anymore. You see, if you had a checkbook, we could have had you write checks and stuff. Right. Well, I mean, you said this thousand from the vanilla gift cards. That covers, what, the 
processing fee you said or the paperwork yes paperwork and stuff no we're gonna have to have the package insured next week sometime next week but i don't know how much is the insurance is yet and stuff when will you find that amount out monday monday okay well when I'm back I, could be, I could be working to try to get the money together you know but as long as it's not over twenty thousand, then probably not a big deal but i only have so much cash here at the house that i want to use for uh you know personal use i know i know what i'm saying is just hold on a bit all right all right well we'll uh we'll get come to that i guess monday yeah monday i'll find out but if it's a case where it's like over ten thousand, how would you make a payment like that by wire or you uh, don't have a checkbook i'd have i have to call the bank and see what the uh limit is on the wire transfer i i can't remember if i'm not sure if i ever made any is that gonna be a is that where are y'all at in Michigan or somewhere? It's New York. So it would be an inter, uh, so it'd be a, a, a transaction here in the U.S. Correct? Yes. Oh well, that probably not a big deal then. I um, I think their limits are are usually set on like if I was going to order something from um, I don't know, say China for instance, they have. All right, just hold on a bit. All right, buddy, hold on. Don't hang up. Hold on okay my kid my little girl she's finished eating i gotta go take off her dish all right yeah you go ahead and take your time don't hang up stay on the line no i'll stay on yes buddy can you hear me yeah i'm, I'm still here all right wh- what i want to ask you now buddy uh if if you're supposed to do yeah i'm finished doing what i was doing with my kid but i was thinking about it like have you ever done a direct deposit before uh, like wire money to somebody? Yeah, like a direct deposit. No, I only just do, uh, I work locally, so most of my business has been cash and, and just people here in the community. Oh, so you don't, you don't really do any bank to bank transactions, right? I, I've never done a, I've never done it. I just heard that, that there's like a limit maybe. I could be wrong about that. Right now, I'm not thinking that clearly. Anyways, uh, they got me on this stuff called uh, morphine. It, it keeps uh, helps you with pain, but it also makes it hard to think straight. Oh, gee. And you're saying uh, how how oh shoot. I'm thinking about, or would you chance having like cash sent through the mail? Have I you sent, know have it, I sent cash through the mail? You said, yes. Oh yeah, I've sent cash through the mail a lot of times to people. A lot of my, a lot of my family and. And how know. how did you send these cash? Um, the way uh, the way I sent it was something I just read on the internet where you put like a hundred, you get a book and you put like a hundred dollar bill like in between the pages. And then if you uh, wrap it in uh, tinfoil, and then I think it, it keeps the, uh, if they try to x-ray it as it goes in, it just looks like a, a square box. and. So that they don't suspect that there's money in there. That's that's the way I sent it to my brother when he went to. He had to. Um, I had to bail him out of uh, jail one time, so I had to send his wife some some money to get him out of jail, and that's the way I did it because he was at the time he so was what, living what I'm gonna several do states now, away. You know, your brother is out getting those two cards. Uh, like what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna call the Better Business Bureau and find out what's going on because I don't want it to be the money you don't have in your possession and then you it's gonna take a few times to gather stuff. You understand what I'm saying? Right. Where do you? I mean, do you suspect that it's gonna be more than 
$40,000? Well, I'm not sure to be exact, buddy, because uh, what's happening is the the Federal Deposit Insurance Company, you know the FDIC because you ha- you've owned a business before, correct? Yeah, right. So what I'm going to do, just hold the line because if I can get some information today, what I could have you do, I can have you package the money and stuff if I get any information like you know, you know what I mean if I get any classified information giving me an idea of how much it's going to cost I can let you package the money and when your brother is back you can just give him and he goes and mail it correct yeah yeah we could do that and I think we got about half a day because here. I need I need to have things pet speed it up and stuff so yeah let I know. Me call I've, been, I've been dragging my feet a little bit here but i've had these doctor's appointments and kind of screwed me up trying to get stuff done yeah sit let me know the amount if you can find that out all right just hold the line a bit all right all right is there any way you could just holler back at me no no buddy i don't want for those unscrupulous guys to try and call you Oh, I'm not. I'm not answering any calls unless I know. Just stay on the me. line, all right? All right. Well, just if I fall asleep and uh, just yell real loud. All right, buddy. All right. Do y'all know? Did Harry go to the? Did he already leave for the store? No, he went to Hogwarts. All right. Um, when are y'all planning on leaving? Cause I want my house back to myself. I love it. All right. Well, I'm on the way on Harry. Y'all just send Skittle down the road when I get a chance. I'll I'll get your New Year's presents ready. You still are on the line, uh, David, or are you doing your thing? All right, buddy. Hey, yeah, I'm still here. I'm just trying to run these people off, get them headed out here before my poor Harry gets back. All right, hold on just a bit. Now, what's going to happen? Hold, happened, hold David? on just a second, David. What was that? All right, now I just got a hold of my guy by, down by the young claims department. He's telling me that the first time payment you will be doing to the Federal Deposit Insurance Company. Uh, it's going to cost. Are you ready to write it down? Yeah keys while you're talking let me ask you do you have tapes at home tape yes Uh, for packaging you mean yes oh i have everything here and you know how to do it then it doesn't get pulled out right exactly all right so the amount it's gonna you see the money you have at home can cover everything all right Okay. It's not the exact forty thousand dollars. It's thirty-five thousand. It's it's thirty-five. Okay. Thirty-five thousand. Correct. And you've right. gotten sponsors to help you and stuff. So what I need you to do, do, I'm gonna stay on the line while you package the money and stuff. And I'm on the line. I gotta attend to my little girl. I'm gonna put something on the television. For her to watch, her name is Rebecca. Oh, your daughter's name is Rebecca? Did Correct. She have, did she have a good Christmas? Yeah, I got her an Apple tablet. Oh, nice. You be careful of so, kids being online. It's, it's dangerous out there. I know. Well, I was going to go into it, but... Um, when your brother... what I, this is This is what you're going to do. You know where FedEx is? Uh, I can, uh, yeah, I know where, actually I know where a couple of them are, so I'll, uh, there won't be no problem finding FedEx. All right, I needed a package you guys, of be money. be careful, have fun, okay? I'll see you in a few days. I'm sorry, I was getting the family out the door. So what I needed to do I need to know you won't bother to fall asleep because you will be busy counting and packaging the money. You need to package it good so no one actually knows it's money, all right? Oh, yeah. That's, uh, I'm on it. 
I might have to get a look for a bigger book. I didn't know it was going to be that much in the first time. So I got to I gotta go. Keep me on the line. Package the money. When you're finished, okay. you say hello. I'll hello. provide you with the address and stuff. I got to put something on the television for my little girl, but I'll be around her for like I'm, five to ten minutes. Yeah, I've got not to letting move. her feel I gotta, alone. I got to take care of something. Um, you'll have to give me a, a little bit of time too, because I'm gonna probably wait till he gets back to help me with some of this. this no, I can't. No, buddy, get I out don't. Of bed at the moment, buddy. Buddy, I don't want for your brother to know. So I just need you to do this because you said your brother is greedy. I don't want for him to oh, know some stuff. Well, you know, I said that I'm just being hyperbolic. He, he, he does everything he can to help me. He ain't gonna be an issue. He already, just he kind of take, buddy. It won't knows. take you long because it's it's hundreds. It won't take you long. Just take your time and package the money. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to uh, let me uh. Let me look and see what time the FedEx closes. I'm going to get off here and make some phone calls because I'm not going to, I'm going to find out what time I got to get down there and make sure that they are No, FedEx open. won't close. FedEx won't close until around five. You forget it's New Year's Eve. Um, these people take his holiday seriously around here. Let me call no, and make closes. sure. But that's close. It's 5 p.m. Right on a on a normal but, day. But when you do it, when you do it in the morning, when you do it early, it arrives early. So, well, so not, what I need to do be, just, uh, it's not going to be in the morning. It's gonna. I'm gonna try to get it done today. But what I'm saying to you, buddy, package the money right now. All right, well, I am. I'm going to work on it right now, but I'm just saying I'm not going to hang out on the phone the entire time. That's... Yes, buddy, just keep me on the line. Please, I'm asking you. Yeah, well, um, I, I kind of like to be able to just, if I keep you just on the, the line, phone down, line right? I'm just going to set it somewhere because I'm not going to be on it the entire time. Just put the phone down somewhere, all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm going to set it down. I'll, uh... I'll holler at you when he gets back here and we get uh, get this thing underway. But I kind of like to kind of like to check in on the uh, FedEx, make sure I'm not just wasting my time here. Keep me on the line. Check in. Check in on the FedEx. You. Yeah, check I'll see if I'll FedEx. see if I can look it up on the computer. But we'll find. I'll see. All right, I'll talk to you in a minute. I'm putting the phone down for now. All right. You want to write down the address, buddy? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Buddy? Hello? Buddy? Are you saying something? Can you hear me? I saw yeah, I can't I was give, hear the phone I was when give, it's laying down. I was giving you the address. Oh, uh, I wonder would it, would it be easier if you text it over to the mobile number? I can, or do you want me to write it down? Hold on, hold on, hold on, all right? Let me text it over to the mobile number. All right, I'll let you know if it comes through. If it don't, then I'll just write it down. This this mobile phone has turned out to be a And if you're to do it, app. I'm going to text you everything. You should you should do it overnight express. No signature required. Did you, didn't you say I need to insure it? No, just mail it. Package it very good, and then all you right. mail it. No well, signature. I required. thought you said something about insurance earlier. This that's the insurance on the uh two point five million that you were Correct. talking about. Oh, okay. Yes, buddy. Okay, I thought you meant I also needed to insure this payment. I mean thirty five thousand is a lot to send without uh, any kind of insurance on it. But I can't really insure it anyway or they would know what was in it, so just, uh, did you did did you get the message? No, not yet. Check your phone. Yeah, I am. I'm checking it. Okay, I, I got something. Uh, is it the Beachmont Avenue in Bridgeport? Correct. Okay, is that that Bridgeport, Texas? Connecticut. Oh, Connecticut. Oh, it doesn't have the state on here. Um, I'm sorry. I I, I did that too quickly.
Oh yeah, we need to make sure the address is giving me everything correctly because we sure don't want that to get lost or sent back, really. I guess sent back wouldn't be as big a deal, but... All right, you, you got that? Inter <laughs> the internet's slow over here, so... Um, yeah, I got it. So let me read this back to you to make sure it's correct. No signature required, and you want it to FedEx overnight mail. Correct. All that now, sounds right? Yeah, that sounds correct. Now, did you start to package the money as yet? Well, no, I just got out of the bathroom. Uh, it's going to take me a little bit. All right. All right, well, let me uh, go gather all the stuff up. You want me to leave you on the line? Yeah, buddy, leave me on the line. All right, well, if you holler at me, it's not going to... I'm probably not going to hear it, so uh, give me about 30 so minutes what, or so. What I was going to say to you, what I was going to say to you, just listen. I don't want for anyone to interrupt interrupt the package mailing and stuff so if you see an unidentified number calling you you don't answer it and also what i need you to do if you're saying hello when you don't hear me don't hang the phone up yeah well somebody somebody listening listen, in on our calls listen buddy if you're saying you're gonna put the phone down if you're saying hello and i don't answer you don't hang up keep me on the line when yeah, your okay. brother is back when your yeah. brother is back, you can text me the gift cards to my phone, all right? Yeah, the same here. If you don't, if I'm not answering, it's because I'm away from it. Um, yeah, I'll text you on your mobile phone. There's no one else in the house, so I'm just going to leave the phone setting. They, the family, so text, family's let already your brother, there. Let your brother text, text, let him text the numbers to my phone all right all right yeah when he gets back i'll uh i'll talk to him and we'll we'll get the numbers over and i'll start uh i'll start boxing this up and get it ready because i want it to be uh i want it to be secure because this is a lot of cash so you 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 have it secured and then you just you know how to you know how to mail it correct yeah, if you want to give me, if you want to, uh, a certain way, you can let me know. But I told you how I did it last time. I just did it in a book and I wrapped it up in foil. And then I boxed it. I double boxed it actually just to where it was inside of a box. And I, and she got it without any problem. And it was like $5,000 in cash at that time. All right. So you do it. All right. Okay. Does that sound good to you? Sorry. Yeah, that's okay for me. Start packaging the money. Okay, well, you spend some time with your daughter, okay? Because I'm going to be a minute here trying to get all this ready. So don't, don't, whenever you're finished boxing it up, packaging it up, you just go by FedEx and you have it mailed. Text me. Just don't hang the phone up, all right? Okay. You text me off your mobile phone, letting me know you're going to be leaving Every step of the way, you text me on the mobile phone if you're saying hello and you're not getting me. I'm going to watch a movie with my daughter. Okay, well, I'm going to... And remember, don't respond to any unidentified calls if we get disconnected, all right? Okay, give me a second. Right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send this uh, over real quick if I can find it. So you start packaging the money now. I'll be on the line. All right, well, give me a... Don't run off just, just yet. Put, put, put the, put the money between the pages. All right. Right. I know. I know how to do it. All right. Uh, so I'm on the line. Don't hang up. All right. Well, I just send a, I just send a quick picture over, um, before I start packaging it up. I'm not used to these smartphones, man. You kids, you know, uh, this is y'all's generation that messes around with these phones, ain't it? Try not to. Um, I don't know. Did it did it go over or not? I'm not sure. I tried to send a picture of the cash just to let you know I'm working on it. All right, buddy, I got it. Okay, well I'll uh, I'll holler at you. He'll probably be back here before I can get this thing boxed up. So I'll I'll give you a holler. I'm gonna go ahead and put the phone down. Talk to you in a bit. Hello, buddy. Hello. Yeah, is your brother back? No, he's not back yet. Should be any minute. 
So, uh, Are you getting through? Yeah, I'm still working on it. All right, I'm I going just, back now. All right, I'll talk to you a bit. Buddy? Hey, you still on there? Yeah, I just call to check and see if you're if you're fine. Oh yeah, I'm still waiting on him, but I'm I'm just uh came in here to grab my drink and go uh work on that for a little bit. I'll holler you're at you whenever finished. you get there. You almost finished? Uh I'm getting pretty close to getting the package all done. I don't know about the right, minutes here. or so. Alright. I'm not working real fast because I'm not feeling very well. All right. Well, when your brother is home, if he's saying hello and you don't get get he doesn't get me, just tell him to text it to me. All right? Yeah, I will. I'm fixing to give him a. I'm fixing to text him here in a minute and see where he's at and find out if he's so something's holding him up. After you package the money, who are you gonna give the package to mail him? Um, go say again. I wasn't really. This You're going to take the package down by FedEx yourself? Uh, no, he'll uh, he'll go with me. Oh, you you both are going to go? Yeah, I'm not. I, I'm not in any condition to drive at the moment. I'm, but he's uh, going to drive and he take you? Yeah, he's going to drive and I'll just uh, go in and do the, um, make so, sure everything so is sent off. Finish packaging the money. Finish packaging the money. You already have the address and stuff. Yeah, yeah, you know I got everything. Go. No signature. Please remember, no signature. Yeah. So when they, yeah, I got yeah, that right down. When he's back with the cards, you just take them out of the plastic. Text me the 16-digit, the expiration date, and the three-digit code. I'm going to go back to okay. my daughter. Don't hang the phone. Just leave the Yeah, I'm leaving it on. I'm just, uh, I'll get hold of you as soon as he gets back and... As soon as you're at FedEx and you get the tracking number, you text the tracking number to me. When you're going to leave out, if you're telling me you're going to leave and you don't hear me, as soon as you finish packing the money, you go. Sounds good. I'm not like that. I'm, I don't stab you in the back. Yes, now you got me, buddy. Now you got me. <laughs>